Very soon, a number of taxes are going to be raised, increased. We know the high cost of living that is on the shoulders of the Kenyans, the burden resting on the shoulders of Kenyans, that they can't even make both ends meet. But the president has decided to increase taxation, tax on everything, tax on chicken, tax on plants or crops, tax on anything that is moving, literally tax on everything. The president is in the United States of America and has been given one trillion Kenya shillings. And therefore, with this money, we don't expect the president to overtax Kenyans again because he's gone to the United States of America and has been given money. The problem is that we don't know where this money goes to. Most of this money is lost through corruption. Most of this money is just misappropriated, pilfered, defrauded. And therefore, the money that has been given to the president should be used for development, should be used as a source of revenue for any other important issue that must be solved in this country. So, the president must not move to overtax Kenyans because as we speak, he has money. So we don't know any other money that he expects. He already has a trillion Kenya shillings. As of today, he has a trillion Kenya shillings. That trillion Kenya shillings should not be misused, should not be abused. And therefore, we are watching. And this time round, what we are planning as Team Ground will be so fun on the streets. To talk about the conduct and becoming of the government of Kenya, President William Ruto, to order that structures, houses, businesses be demolished and that these houses were constructed using the hard-earned cash of Kenyans and that Kenyans don't have where to stay. Children who are going to school don't have where to come back where they can call homes because the government has decided to demolish their structures, their houses and has decided not to compensate them. Today, there's demolition ongoing at Gikomba Market, where people are going to lose businesses, stocks, that they've decided to invest millions and multi-millions of Kenya shillings. And it is shameful for the government to act in such an unbecoming way the government that, was, that is claiming to have been voted in by the hustlers, the same hustlers that are being destroyed, as Ruto is busy having his sweet time in the United States of America, enjoying with his family. There are families who are suffering back in Kenya. There are families who, are, who don't have anywhere to go. There are children who will leave school in the evening, but find that there are no houses where they will go back to. And more so, at Gikomba, these people registered these said parcels of land. They were issued with title deeds as proof of ownership. Some were given allotment letters as proof of, proof of ownership of uh, these said properties. And now the government is demolishing their properties without even proper consultation, without even information on how they will be compensated. And therefore, I want to urge the traders at Gikomba Market and those people whose houses has, uh, have been demolished throughout Nairobi to register with my office, present copies of their title deeds or allotment letters. I will take this matter to court. I will file a constitutional petition and the prayers we shall seek for will be costs that shall be borne by the government the second prayer that we shall seek for was declaration of violation of rights of Kenyans. We will seek for damages, both specific damages, general damages, and any other cost that shall be deemed fit for the people of Nairobi. Right now there are demolitions going on in Nairobi. The government has moved with a lot of speed to destroy people's property, houses, that people used a lot of resources to construct this property and the government has moved 
and caused a lot of chaos in these slum areas. It's still raining, people are spending in the cold, people are spending in the rains, the government does not care. The president has run away to the United States of America. He's gone there to have fun because when we see him, he's just greeting people, <laughs> merry merrying around, using 200 million to hire a private jet, while that 200 million can be used to resettle these flood victims. Further adding insult to an injury by destroying their houses. How inhuman can President Ruto be to move and destroy people's structures, houses, businesses? We will not take this lightly as Nairobians because this is affecting so many lives. Over 40,000 lives, over 40,000 families in Nairobi are being affected. They are being left homeless. And the president is advising them to build on the hill. The only house on the hill is State House. So should they come and get accommodated at State House? And number two, you, you constructed the affordable housing, the houses, that you've been promoting day in, day out for hustlers. Why can't you give these hustlers these houses? We don't support the demolitions that, are, that is taking place across Nairobi and that is affecting the livelihood of so many families. Children cannot go to school simply because they don't have where they will come back to as a house. So we need to treat Kenyans with a lot of respect, treat Nairobians with a lot of respect. And these demolitions must stop with an immediate effect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kenyans. I want to talk about the junior secondary school teachers. These teachers have been frustrated by the government. The government has refused to confirm these teachers as permanent and pensionable teachers. They were promised one year ago that they were going to do the, to take the uh, internship program for a period of 12 months. Thereafter, they were supposed to be confirmed as permanent and pensionable teachers earning at least a sizable amount of money. Right now, a junior secondary school teacher is earning 17,000 Kenya shillings. That teacher has children, has other expenses to take care of, rent, food, clothing, transport, children to pay fees for them. And they cannot afford using that because the money is too little. In the hardship areas, the JSS teachers should be paid 47,000 Kenya shillings, 46, 47,000 Kenya shillings. And in other areas, they are supposed to be paid 38,000 Kenya shillings. And therefore, the government should keep their promise. The court has already made a ruling, and the government should not go against this ruling. There should be no contempt of the court, court's decision to employ the JSS teachers as permanent and pensionable teachers. And therefore, they should not be discriminated on, which is against the spirit of the Constitution. They should be treated as normal teachers. They should be given these jobs because they deserve these jobs. And as Babu Owino, together with other members of parliament, we stand with the JSS teachers. Thank you and God bless you.